Seeing clearly is something many of us take for granted. That is until something like cataracts threatens your sight. Cataracts are the most common cause of vision loss in people over the age of 40. And while eye surgeons have been removing cataracts for years, the FDA recently approved something called LAL surgery. And as Dr. John Birdall with Vance Thompson Vision told me during our recent visit there, LAL is a game changer for many patients. Thanks so much, Dr. John Birdall, for having us out here to Vance Thompson Vision. We love it when you're here. So my first question is, what does LAL stand for? Yeah, so LAL stands for Light Adjustable Lens. And it's a lens that goes inside the eye at the time of cataract surgery. Your eye heals up, and then we shine ultraviolet light on it in a very specific pattern, and it changes the shape of the lens inside your eye to match your eye perfectly. It's kind of Star Trek-like, and it's, it's amazing, and the outcomes are like nothing we've seen. It's exquisite. So what is the purpose for an LAL procedure? Yeah, so everybody has a different shape eye, right? So they may have a different curvature that has some astigmatism. Where that lens sits in the eye might be a little bit different. And the things that we can't control as surgeons are how you heal. So we let you heal and then we change exactly what we can control, which is the shape of that lens. And that allows us to match that lens to your eye just the way we want it to, so light focuses on the retina perfectly the way we want it to. So what's the difference between LAL and other lens options for cataract yeah, surgery? Yeah, right, so, so listen, I, the lens options that we have are great. Cataract surgery is one of the most successful surgeries in all of medicine, and currently, this light adjustable lens can't have a built-in bifocal. So some lenses we use for distance and near are still gonna be using a built-in bifocal. But the light adjustable lens is gonna give us the most precise outcomes that we've ever seen. So currently what we do is we take some measurements in your, of your eye, we use these formulas that estimate the best power of the lens possible, and then we put that lens in and you heal up. And if, if you're not exactly where you, we want you to be, we can do a LASIK enhancement and usually get you there. But with the light adjustable lens, we'll put that lens in, we'll let you heal up, and then we'll change the shape of that instead of changing the shape of your body or your tissues to get the outcome we want. Okay. So what was Vance Thompson Vision's role in developing this technology? Yeah, so this uh, technology has been in development for a while, and we were part of all of the FDA trials to help get it approved. We've been in lots of FDA trials, and it's a real honor to be trusted by the FDA and by companies to say, hey, we've got a new technology, we want to make sure it's safe, we want to make sure it's effective, and we want to do that with you. And, and we get involved in these trials on the technologies that the, we think are the most promising, and so we can bring technologies to um, our community four or five years before they're approved. So we were doing this study three years ago before it was approved, and now it's available to everybody. So describe to me what you would say an ideal candidate for LAL is? Yeah, so I think that the ideal candidate for, for the LAL is somebody who says, I want to have the best distance possible without glasses after surgery. I think that that's the ideal candidate. Now, the other candidate is someone who says, I'm not exactly sure I want. I might want distance in one eye and near in another eye. And so then we can do the lens and we can simulate that for you after your cataract's gone with a pair of contact lenses and you say, yes, that's exactly what I want. And so kind of what you see is what you get. If that's what you want, then we'll dial it in for you. So really it's just a personal preference on whether or not you want to be able to see that distance? You're in charge of how you want to see afterwards. Okay. So walk me through the LAL procedure. Yeah, it's just like a regular cataract surgery. We make um, a couple of really small incisions. You don't go to sleep for the surgery, but you're comfortable. Um, you're sedated. The cataract surgery itself usually takes less than you know, 10 minutes. We put the new lens in place and the surgery is done. Then you wear a pair of UV blocking sunglasses that you get a clear one and you get a dark one and they actually look decently cool. And, and you'll be wearing that for two to three weeks because we can't let the ultraviolet light um, from the environment hit the lens, otherwise it can change the shape of the lens. Then you'll come in at two to three weeks and we'll apply that ultraviolet light in a very specific pattern, change the shape of the lens, you'll come back a couple days later. If we like it, we lock it in, and now you've got a lens that matches your eye perfectly for the rest of your life. 
Okay, so when we're talking about the different lenses that you said you put in, is there anything else that comes from or with the recovery process? You know, not, not really, other than making the big difference is that you got to make sure you're wearing those sunglasses all the time. But other than that, no, there's not. Maybe, maybe the, the other thing is instead of doing a LASIK enhancement at three months, if we don't have exactly where we want you to be, now we're doing the adjustment at three weeks. So it's even sooner that you see as good as you possibly can. Okay, and then after that adjustment at three weeks, what can the patient expect after having this procedure? Really, really, really good vision without glasses. What have you heard back from people who have done LAL? Oh yeah, I mean from our patients, oh my gosh, I've never seen like this in my life. And you know, we're also part of a study right now in patients that have had LASIK, and, and that's a little harder to predict the lens power, and these patients are seeing incredibly well. It is really, really impressive. Now, if I am considering this or I maybe think that this sounds like a good idea for me, how can I figure out if this is the right procedure that I should go yeah, with? Yeah, the right thing to do is talk with your regular eye doctor. You know, um, in, in this region, they're all familiar with it um, because of the trial that we did before in the education. And then come in for a cataract eval. And we'll do the cataract eval, see if your cataract's bad enough to take out, and then walk you through all the options, of which LAL is, is a really exciting one, but it's not the only one. All right, and how do you know when your cataracts are bad enough to do this? When you can't do everything you want to do easily with your eyes. So the number one thing people see, say is that, hey, headlights at night bug me. Um, if you have a hard time driving in the rain at night, it's probably your cataracts if you're over age 55. So that's really the way to know it. Some people say, hey, it's harder for me to read than it used to be. Um, I can't quite see the words or I can't see the scores on the bottom of the TV. So. Big picture is, if you can't see the way that you want to see, see your regular eye doctor. You know, we're happy to see you too and determine, is this a cataract? And then we'll talk through the options. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Birdall, for joining us here today. My pleasure. The region's most experienced LAL Vision Correct surgeons can be found at Vance Thompson Vision. If you'd like to schedule a consultation with any one of the experts at Vance Thompson Vision about whether LAL surgery is an option for you, Give them a call in Sioux Falls at 605-361-3937. You can also find out more by visiting vancethompsonvision.com.